Hi, I'm Jessica Marksbury for Golf.com, and I am enjoying a beautiful afternoon at the Al Fond Inn in Winter Park, Florida, with the one and only Paula Creamer, and we are about to have a round of Chardonnay. Yes. Cheers to you, Paula. Thank you for choosing Chard. Cheers. Thank you. One of my favorites. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Why are we drinking Chardonnay today? Um. Why are we drinking Chardonnay today? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, I'm the one who, who makes us decide to drink right during I the interview. I thought we just drank Chardonnay every day. So we're right near your home mm -hmm. here in Florida. Yes, I've been um, in Windermere now for, geez, uh, moved here in 08, so quite a long time. Well, I feel like you fit right in with the setting. It's <laughs> elegant and, and charming and beautiful. It's been so lovely hanging out with you for the day, and I'm catching you during what I know is a very rare off week. But unfortunately, I know it's also because you've been injured, mm -hmm. and I would imagine that is maybe a bit of a, a blessing in some ways because you have the time off, but obviously a curse in others because you can't do what you love the most, and that's play golf. Right, there's nothing worse than being being hurt. Um, you know, it, I've battled this injury for a while now, and you know, it has been hard, but I've been able to you know, be at home, be with my family. I mean, the lifestyle that we live is, it's crazy. I mean, 30 weeks of the year we travel, and being able to just kind of come home, unwind, um, unpack and not see a suitcase is pretty cool. Well, I know hanging out with your family is a priority for you. Mm -hmm. You're coming up on almost three years being married. Yes. Does that just blow your mind when you it's, think about it? Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm going to have a drink for that one. <laughs> No, but honestly, I've, I've married an amazing man. How did you guys meet? You know, it's funny. I, I say it's an arranged marriage, but it, <laughs> it, my mom did not like the men that I was dating. My dad uh, flew with his dad in the military, in the Navy, and his dad was a groomsman in my parents' wedding. He came out to a golf tournament. He ended up coming out and watching, and it was just love at first sight. And his dad and my dad looked at each other and were like, no, this, this can't happen. Like, my dad would say, he is not marrying my daughter. And, you know, and he goes, yes, he is. Welcome to the family. It is, it's an interesting story, because it, it's hard to meet people out here. Oh, so yeah. leave it to mom to, you know, mom find knows my best. husband. You've been out on tour for 13 years now. It's a long mm -hmm. career for anyone. It is. We're seeing a lot of your peers now starting to retire. I mean, are you looking uh, ahead to, to that time when you when you do put the clubs away, or are you are you going to be a Julie Inkster <laughs> and and we'll see you out here for decades? There's to come? only one Julie Inkster. <laughs> that's for sure. There is only one of her. But uh, I love what I do. I love every aspect of it. I love trying to get better. I love the lows. I love the highs. I. I can't see myself right now not playing golf, and I'm just gonna kind of go with that for as long as I possibly can, because you know there's gonna be a day where I'm not gonna get nervous, and I'm not gonna want to go practice, and then that's when we need to reevaluate things. There's such a beautiful sisterhood on the LPGA tour. Mm -hmm. I've been very lucky. All of my girlfriends, I literally have grown up playing junior golf with. As much as I love my parents and my husband, they still don't know what I feel and what I go through. Where they do, and it's nice to be able to talk you know, through all of that. It's probably, it's it's more of a grind than it seems. It is, it's not, like I said, it's not easy, but at the end of the day, I get to play a sport that I love, and it's my job. I mean, not many people get to say they love what they do. Well, not only do you love what you do, but you're pretty darn good at it, if I do say so myself, and you seem to have a knack for making clutch putts, <laughs> clutch long putts, mm -hmm. and I wanna just remind you of a particular putt from a couple of years ago. It was one of the most clutch performances I've ever seen. Let's watch it. Oh, this one. <laughs> this was clutch. <laughs> if I make this, seriously, <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. Ready? There was so much pressure, <laughs> everybody watching this, too. I'm all about the celebrations, <laughs> always. You have to be. You know when you're good, you're good. You guys got to turn it on. I'm glad we still have that on on our archive. It will It'll live be. forever. <laughs> what do you think is is the strongest part of your game? I would say just my my mental strength. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm a grinder. I don't. I'm gonna keep going until you know I, I just can't can't move anymore. I. I also believe as my, my years have gone on out on tour, I'm, I'm able to tell myself, good job. 
you know, there's you have to be able to tell yourself, give yourself a pat on the back when you do do good things, because when those things stop and you're sitting there and you're struggling, like it, it's very difficult. So mentally, I feel like that's one of my biggest strengths. But at the same time, you know, I've always been, my putting has always been been strong. You know, I, golf is, there's so many things you have to be good at, but if you can be great at a couple of things, then you will, you, you will last, you know, your career will go on for many, many years. Well, your mental fortitude has been very impressive, especially in events like the Solheim Cup. Mm -hmm. How meaningful was it for you to be on the team? Oh man, there's, I mean, it gives me goosebumps just sitting here. I, there's just something about being able to go out there and play for your country and not for Paula Creamer. You know, when you hear representing the United States, being you know, an alternate this year, and I felt horrible that Jessica couldn't play, but the fact that the team asked for me to be there, that, that says a lot. Well, we love watching you play. Thank Congratulations you. on Thank your success. You. All the best with the wrist rehab. Appreciate it. And that. cheers to you, Paula. Cheers. Thank, Thank you for you. your time today. Thank you. And thanks for choosing Chardonnay. You're welcome.